YouTube, it's Dominique. So I haven't updated for a few weeks. Um, I'm 36 weeks pregnant now and every time I make a video, my cats screw with something. But anyway, I'm 36 weeks pregnant and I'm exhausted. Um, I can't sleep at night. I'm so uncomfortable. It is crazy. I'm actually just about to leave for my last, probably last prenatal appointment. Um, I had both of my first two at 37 weeks and I had my son Jackson um, at 36 weeks and five days and I'm 36 in one day right now. So I think I'm getting pretty close. I can feel I'm getting pretty close. Um, my doctor's gonna check my cervix at my appointment today and uh, see if we're progressing any. I am honestly just so excited to get this over with. Like, I'm so excited. I can't be pregnant anymore. I love it. Like, I absolutely love, excuse me, being pregnant, but once you get to this stage, I'm just in so much pain. I can barely walk because my pelvis hurts so bad and lightning crotch and everything. It's horrible. <laughs> and I've been having really, really bad heartburn to the point where like sometimes I've been thrown up. I can't really sleep that well at night anymore. I'm up like a bunch of times a night um, using the bathroom, drinking water, eating Tums, stuff like that just to help me out. And it's literally taking a toll on my sleep schedule because I just want to nap right now and it's like 2 in the afternoon. On the plus side, my nails are looking fabulous. Like, they've never been this long and strong. And my hair as well. Like, I don't know what it is, pregnancy hormones, but I feel like good physically. Like, I feel like I look like I have a glow, but then I feel like... Everything inside me is ready to explode. <laughs> my vagina, TMI, but it feels like it's ready to explode. And I had like a lot of discharge and I think like pieces of my mucus plug are coming out, like just little pieces. Um, I don't think I'm in labor yet. <laughs> so yeah, I've been having like contractions every day and like back pain. So I was like thinking maybe I'm like gonna be in labor in the next few days, but I think it'll be like another week or so. But um, I'm definitely feeling something is changing. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm also pretty nervous because I didn't get the epidural with my last baby. And I'm starting to remember how much pain that was and how much I don't wanna be in that pain again. <laughs> So, we might get the epidural this time. Um, this video will probably be posted like after I give birth, maybe. Unless I can edit it in time and everything um, before I have her. But I'm assuming my next video is going to be my labor and delivery vlog, so look out for that. So, the baby's heartbeat has been regular, like 140 the entire time. So in the beginning I thought it was a boy because of the heartbeat, but I guess that old wives tale isn't always true. Um, it was with all my other kids, but for some reason this baby just has a low heart rate. Um, at one of my ultrasounds, you can see the umbilical cord around her neck, which kind of worries me because Jackson had issues with that during his birth. And I really hope that that doesn't happen this time. Um, because I, I was like so scared. Like if you watch that video, you can hear my voice. I'm like terrified because I don't know what's happening. Also, me having contractions every day is like making me nervous that I'm not gonna know when I'm in actual labor because like with Xandra, my water broke, so I obviously knew. Um, with Jack, with, or with Mika, um, I lost my mucus plug and I was having contractions that whole night, but when I lost my mucus plug, it was like huge and bloody and bleh. So I knew to go to the hospital and um, with Jackson, I just had like really intense contractions every six minutes. So I was like, okay, let's go. But I wasn't having the pain every day like I'm having now. So I think I'm like starting labor almost every day. Like it's hard to tell. So I feel like when I'm in actual labor, I'm not going to know at first. And then like I'm going to make it there too late because my babies come very, very quickly. 
um, I go from 7 to 10 and delivering the baby within a few minutes so I'm like scared that I'm gonna be like on my way to the hospital and she's gonna start coming out <laughs> by the time like I know that I'm in labor and I'm in a lot of pain so we'll see I guess um, that could be interesting for the vlog um, I think that's it I guess I will see you guys when I have the baby, unless she decides to take her sweet old time. Then I guess I'll make a video for 37 weeks or 38 weeks if I make it that far. Thank you guys for watching, and if you're not already and you'd like to be, subscribe. Also hit the notification bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video. And you can follow me on Instagram, KitKatChantel. I'll put it over here. And um, I'll also put it down in the description box as well. Before I leave, I'm going to show my 36 week belly. Okay. So here's with the shirt on. I've definitely dropped. And here's with the shirt up. And I'm having a contraction right now. <sighs> Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!